Getting the water chemistry right is one of the most important things in all grain brewing if you want to hit your efficiency numbers and get the right original gravity numbers. But with so many different chemicals that you can add, how do you know what to do? Well, here's how. I use a wonderful little spreadsheet called Easy Water Calculator. There's a link in the description. From here you put in your own water profile. That's the water profile up here on the top. And then you put in uh, your grain bill as to exactly what you are brewing today. And you also put in the amount of mash water that you added here. So I'll put my correct mash water in. What that gives you right here is the estimated room temperature mass pH. And it also shows you the desired temperature. So it's 5.59 and we want to get between 5.4 and 5.6. So we are actually within the desired range, but we might want to bring it down just a little bit. To do that, you adjust the mash uh, by adding these chemicals here and you can just experiment with changing some of these numbers to bring the pH up and down. You can also, on the bottom here, see if you're within the expected ranges of your water profile. So for example, we can see that we are lacking calcium and magnesium and sulfite, but we're fine with sodium and chloride. And ideally we want all of these numbers to be green as well. So what you're trying to do is to get all of these numbers to be green, and then this pH number here to also be green. And to do that, you can just experiment with adding in different brewing salts into the mix. So I'm going to try this. I can see now that everything, calcium, magnesium, sodium, chloride, and sulfate, all in the green range, um, and the pH is at 5.48, so that's looking pretty good as well. So the next stage is to add the brewing salts. I always start with a Camden tablet, which just helps dechloridize the water takes out any chlorine that might be in there. So I'll just crush that up in uh, this here and add that to my container. And then using these scales here, I'll simply measure out how much of each brewing salt I need to add based upon what the spreadsheet told me. So 10 grams of gypsum. Twenty grams of calcium chloride and ten grams of Epsom salts. These brewing salts typically come in really tiny bags, but I've got enough Epsom salt here to take a bath in. And it's time to add the the water chemicals into the water as it's starting to heat up for mash temperature. So I'll just sprinkle them in here. And to make sure I've got them all, just rinse this little container out. Give it a stir. Circulating around here on this system, five, 10 minutes, by which time we should be at mash temperature. And we can start adding in the grain. So now in the moment of truth for the water chemistry, I've got a temperature correcting pH meter here. And I'm gonna take a measurement to see if we are on track. And at 5.5, that is close enough. We're within our range, so we're good to go. So that's about it for water chemistry. The, uh, the spreadsheet makes it super easy, and then if you have the pH reading, you can see if you're on track. If you're not, just add some more water salts until you get right in that sort of 5.4 to 5.6 level, and it really helps with efficiency. Hope you found that useful, and for more homebrew how-to tips, hit the subscribe button.